Yeah, hi everyone. Um, sorry this video is a little late. I've been delayed making it. I'd, I'd like to think, well, I'd like to think it's as a result of me being busy and having other things to do, but really it's just I didn't want to make this video because I, I hated the race. So prepare for um, a drunken angry rant about where everything went wrong throughout the video. So uh, <laughs> hope you enjoy that one. Uh, so I've gone out and set a bank of times. You can see there we're in 10th um, on the super softs. The plan from memory was to do a two stop. Um, I originally, th for practice, I was doing a fucking um, uh, super softs to mediums. But instead, uh, last minute, of course, I, I, I keep going to take a sip of alcohol before I talk. It's not good. Um, lost my train of thought. Two stop. Last minute decided to two stop. Um, to do super softs, super soft softs. I think, from memory, at least that was the plan. Um, anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure the last lap that I do is good. Hang on, let me just check that. Uh, yeah, this is the lap. I think I fuck it up somewhere. Um, you might be asking why is he driving in cockpit view? Well, um, I, I started doing that. Uh, in practice, um, just to sort of understand maybe, just maybe what the camera view could tell me about my driving, and yeah, you can see I've really fucked it up there and just completely bailed, and there's only 55 seconds left in the thing, so uh, I thought about going really fast and trying to, yeah, and I, I've cocked it up there as well. Um, yeah, so I was doing that particular camera view uh, just to sort of see what I might gain from it, what information I might be able to learn. I found I found the car was more stable, generally, um, in cockpit view, and I sort of got used to it, so I thought, I don't have much to lose here, let's just do it in this particular uh, camera mode, um, so I did that for the for the race. Um, so I don't know whether that may have been a result of my slowness throughout the race, uh, or whether... Um, Maybe it was the setup. The setup was really stable. It was something like two nine six or something. So the setup was really stable. Uh, but I think that was too safe. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's the final result for Quali of down in twelfth. So I think at that moment I decided, well, what have I got to lose? Let's try the two stop. Um, I think in the championship standings, I'm something like thirteenth in Quali and fourteenth overall. Um, in case anyone was wondering. Uh, yeah, here you go. So, super soft, super soft to softs again. What have we got to lose? Jeez, that flashed up really quickly. But uh, that was the, uh, that was the strategy. So here we are on grid. Um, five red, well, two, three, four, five red lights. I think this is a piss poor start as well from memory. Yeah, just absolutely bogged in mud. Just, it was like I was driving in Cuspid. Um, in all honesty, I wanted to take it really easy through turn one. No issues so far, no issues up front, no issues behind. Um, 42's getting a little squirrely there. Mighty Poo behind us on the medium, so he's going to be going long into the race. I think that actually served him well. Uh, Tequiem and 42 battling up front through the S is not a great idea if you ask me. I probably... There's a couple of times there that I could have passed 42, but... Uh, yeah, it didn't end up happening. And then, uh, what else we had? So, this was basically it for a little bit from memory. Um, behind us, you'll eventually see, uh, I think, Skins take back the position on Mighty Poo. I'm pretty sure, because I think he's on the softs. Um, uh, where, where's some action that actually... See, you can just see they're getting away from me already. It's only been the first lap, so the, the set... It must be the setup. Um... That's slow. Maybe it's maybe it's too slow in a straight line. I mean, maybe I had two two on the front wing, uh, but then but then I'm I'm pulling away from the people behind me. So, oh, but he's on the mediums. Yeah, look, I don't know why I was slow here. Um, it just was. And it was it was really frustrating throughout the entire race. Uh, I think we're on the what third lap, and hashtag turtles had a bit of an incident. It's not been enough for me to get around him, and he is slow. I think he's damaged a wing from memory. I didn't really want to overtake him because he is faster than me, and I was like, yeah, he's gonna catch up. Like, let's just 
That's some shit I'm gonna have to deal with later. Yeah, you just see I'm all over the place. I, I think a combination of the setup and you know, uh, driving uh, in the cockpit view um, has just caused a concoction of, of being slow, I think. Um, unless someone else can see something that I, I don't. Um, that, that can be the, those are the only two different things that I did. I, I changed the setup that I used last year a little bit and, and I do, I'm doing um, cockpit now, so... Um, oh, I don't know. Let's get back up to racing speed. Ah, uh, so a couple of laps further in, lap six, we have Max Cream catching us on the softs, on the medium compound tyre, like, you know, of, of the choice for the, for the race day. Uh, and he's just, yeah, fanging it down the inside and just gotten around me. And, the, and we've got skins behind us on the mediums. And, and this is where I started to get really fucking angry because I couldn't explain why, I, apart from the two things that I've just previously mentioned, I couldn't explain why I was so fucking slow. I don't remember doing this badly last season. I really, I just, oh, I just really hope I haven't hit like another slump. I don't know if you remember last season, but I hit like this weird slump. I like did really well in Bahrain, did okay in China, and then I had like this bit of a slump where I was just kind of like, oh, not, I mean not back markers, but I certainly wasn't as fast as I felt I could be. Um, you know, up in, you know, top five maybe, I was sort of, maybe five backwards. I was still learning points, yes, but I, I still felt like it was a slump. Um, and that's where I'm feeling at the moment. I'm P11, out of the points now, um, skins on the mediums, right behind me. I mean, t we did, I did have a few good battle with skins, that's the only redeeming feature of this entire race. Um, down the, down the straight I did defend really well, we might stay on board to, to see that, so I'll just waffle on for a little bit until that occurs. Um, look at that Ferris wheel, it's a nice Ferris wheel, I'd like to ride on that, it looks fun. But while the races were happening as well, okay alright, anyway, um, now he's coming down the inside, I'm squeezing him a little bit, I think there's a bit of contact there, um, giving him the space now though, he decides against doing it there, for that one. But then on the very next lap, I, um, yeah, try and stick it in the middle. He's a bit too far away. I don't think he has DRS. Oh, he might do. Yeah, he's catching. So I sort of stick it in the middle and try and hold it, uh, hold him there. He decides to take it around the outside in that particular instance. It just hasn't worked for him. Um, but I'm enjoying this at this particular moment. I'm going, yeah, this is good. I'm, you know, having fun defending and not letting him pass and whatnot. You know, putting it in the middle so he can't get around. Um, and that's fine. That's great. But he's on the mediums! Okay, yes, I mean, I, I now have, what, 41% wear on the on the fronts, but they, they shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, see! Perfect timing! Start too soon. So I should still be relatively quick on Super Sauce. Uh, so, yeah, next lap again, lap 8. Uh, we're trying to take the Super Sauce to lap 10, just by the way. Again, sticking it in the middle, so he... And just sort of squeezing him a little bit because he's I can see he's taking the inside line so just squeezing him a little bit um, this time I think he makes it yeah so this time he stuck the nose in he's, he's got the job done we also have mighty poo behind us on the, on the mediums so um, yeah um, just slow 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 and mm, yeah it was at this point I was like cool I really hope I crash. I didn't want to. Well, I wanted to, but I wasn't going to intentionally, is what I need to say. Um, but I was, you know, just in the back of my mind, like, oh, fuck, I don't want to do this race. You know, I'm not even competing for points. Well, okay, I am at the moment, but it's because of pit stops and a few other things, but I'm not in the points. Oh, excuse me. Oh, God, this is beer. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, I'm not even running the points. I'm slow as heck, why am I even bothering? Like, the, like, the two-stop needs to work uh, when you're quick, you know, you're setting really quick, fast pace, um, laps, uh, gets, makes the two-stop work, but uh, it's just not coming together, and I'd had enough at this stage. Battery charge is low. If we turn down the ERS deployment, we can harvest more And, of course, that happens. I... Don't care to rewind because I'm just getting through the video so that it's up and I can reflect back on this at how fucking miserable I was and am now while making the bloody thing. 
Uh, oh, yeah, so here we go. Yep, repair the wing. I didn't have enough time to tell it, yes, do it. I think it was on auto uh, in terms of wing replacement. So I was like, well, fuck me. Hope it does it. And luckily it did. But obviously not what we wanted in terms of loss of time. Um, I do kind of think skins broke a little early, if you ask me. Um, but whatever and then I come around this corner I mean you know, it looked like I was about to go a little wide wasn't bad I mean the tires from memory aren't too bad I'm on lap 13 when did I pit like lap 10 or something but then I just come out too wide and okay, box, uh, box, box. We're yeah, yeah no see tires are fine and there's a position loss Oh, fuck my life. So, it was definitely at this stage I was like, yeah, fuck, I can't even get back on the track properly, like, and, and now I've lost another position, like, <laughs> Yeah, that, that's just painful to watch. Can you imagine how painful it actually was for it to have occurred? Ah! <sighs> so it's definitely at this point that I'm going, fuck this race and everything in it. And I oh, just did not want to continue racing. I'm right at the back, um, dead last. Well, you know, aside from any DNFs. Your lap times are falling off. No shit, Two Jeff. No fucking shit, mate. Fuck you, Jeff. Copy that. So yeah, uh, in for another set of softs, I think, to get me to the end of the race. I think is the idea. Have a look. Oh yeah, oh that's right. Also had to serve a fuck well not serve, but it's gonna go in the end of my um time. Yeah, back onto the softs. There we go. Isn't racing great? <laughs> Seriously though, fuck this race. And so here come the swath of blue flags. Presenting His Royal Highness a beat quag and swirl fail. I feel like that now. It's just presenting them forward, you know, like an announcer at a ball. I feel it needs to be grandiose. It needs something. Something needs to be done to this race to make it interesting. So uh, that that's how it felt. I was <laughs> as I was just slowing down, and letting people pass. I felt like I had to announce them very regally. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. Yes, more blue flag. His Highness Tequim of Toro Rosso. And the Mercedes and Force India. High Lords and Ladies. And Combat Rat of Williams. Ugh. Uh, but by some stroke of luck. Well, unluck for ye hoots. Sorry, sorry, my dude. Um, I'm not going to be last. Something happened between him and skins or him and somebody uh, and as a result I think he's buggered a wing not more than once uh, and I'm not going I'm not going to be last so at least I've got that going for me god is this, is this fucking race over yet oh wait I can make it over 